it's time to fish. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. And today I'm out here at a golf course pond, again, trying to catch some really, really cold water fish. Air temperature is about 35 degrees. Um, water temperature is about the same, so not much of a difference. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right guys, so the very first bait obviously I'm gonna be throwing is the blade bait in opaque shad color. Um, just a really good bait to get familiar with the water. Um, the water is extremely cold right now and throwing a bait like this can get you really, really used to the water. So throwing something like this can yield some really good results. So we shall see. Tell you what though, it is freaking freezing out here. Definitely for sure. Alright, no bites on the uh, blade bait so far. But uh, yeah, the good news is I did bring Another rod, this is my jig rod. I got 30 pound braid on this one, plus a um, finesse jig. So that should get us some fish. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not even sure at this point. That's actually a really deep spot right there. Tell you what, if I don't have luck at this next spot, I'm gonna fish this area. This is really deep and nice right here. There's actually a, a theory, guys. It's called the uh, thermocline, and uh, it's basically based off the lake flip. Uh, in the spring, the lake will uh, almost ran into a tree. In the spring, the temperature of the water changes. The warm water comes to the top, and the cold water goes down to the bottom. In the fall. The warmer water moves down to the bottom and the cold water comes to the top. And right now, the cold water's at the top and the warm water's at the bottom. It's always going to be warmer on the bottom. So that's where we need to start targeting our techniques. Hey guys, this is just really, really deep right here. So what I'm going to do, if you guys are wondering, my uh, initial technique is going to be a lift and drop retrieve. I'm going to let it hit the bottom. I'm going to lift it up and let it sink again. And uh, what that's going to do, it's going to vibrate on the way up and then it's going to shimmy on the way down. And it's hopefully going to get a reaction strike out of these bass. Alright guys, so I'm moving spots right now. Um, fished that spot and the other spot for quite a while. Didn't get any luck. Sorry if you guys can't see me because of the sun. But uh, there are some people golfing on the course. First time in a while I've seen that. But I'm walking to a deep area that I saw earlier, and right now it looks pretty good. Sorry about the wind if you guys are having a problem with that. I'm going to walk right over here to this spot. Fish there for a while. I have about another hour and 15 minutes left to fish, so we'll uh, just have to see what happens. It is a beautiful day, though, here on the golf course. Look at this. Beautiful day. All right, hopefully I don't slip and die, which... Uh, May have happened once or twice. Ooh, that is some sticky mud. That's not good. All right, well, good news is the spot looks really, really good. Very excited to fish this spot. All right, let's give it a go. Whip it out there. Perfect. Lift and drop. That's all I'm doing, guys. That's all I did last video, too, and I had a lot of luck. I mean, I don't know what's going on today. I guess maybe that water temperature changes and uh, that can turn off the fish. We've had a few cold fronts come in recently. That definitely could have done it too. 
There's a bunch of factors that could have come into play. Surprised at least the small ones aren't even biting. I can't believe it. Usually the fish are just all over this bait and all over everything. Let's try a straight retrieve this cast. I mean, why not? It's really hard to hold on to my rod and reel because I'm wearing those really funky gloves. You guys know? Whip it out there, though. Yeah, I'm wearing those really, really funky winter gloves that I keep in my tackle bag for when it gets cold. I didn't expect to wear them today because I thought maybe my hands could brave the elements, but obviously I was wrong. Slipping it. Sliding everywhere. Alright. I think we'll uh, throw the jig in here a little bit. There we go. Casting into the wind. So, as of right now, the wind is blowing directly in my face. So, you would think that the wind blown bank would be where the fish are. But in this scenario, you would be 100% wrong. I don't even get it. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. You know what? I'm going to go try that other spot. There's actually a spot with a lot of rocks right over there. I'm going to walk over to that spot real quick. Alright guys, so I switched spots once again. Um, fish in this area right here. As you can see, we have some riprap right here. And, uh, really really deep water that can be really really key all right guys got the blade bait right here got some rip wrap right here all right let's give that jig a try No, I think maybe my problem is maybe I'm fishing this bait a little bit too fast. Maybe I just need to slow it down, finesse everything, and just go from there. I think that might be the problem. Here's a uh, rock down there. Felt just like a freaking fish. I was like, oh my god, I actually got one. Fortunately, I don't, but... Oh, uh, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get skunked in this video, honestly. But you know what? I'm still posting it because I like to show you guys the adventure. Even if I don't catch anything, it's still a really fun adventure. And uh, I think it's very important that that type of positivity gets shared on YouTube. So that's why I post videos a lot of the time that I don't even catch fish. Because it's good energy. You know, if you guys get my drift. There's that rock again I just hit. Feels just like a freaking fish, I swear. But I know it's not. It feels just like a fish. Wait a minute, there's actually a better looking spot right here. I'm gonna go try that real quick. Alright, yeah, this spot looks uh, pretty good. Let's give it a try with the jig. I'm having a hard time casting though because these gloves are so thick. Well guys, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. This is crazy. hell is that? Is it a fish or a rock? Judging by how my bait came up, probably a rock. Wow. That's pathetic. I can't even catch a fish to save my life. I still have about 40 minutes to fish. Fished two different ponds. I'm actually thinking about going to that other one over there. But I know it's full of carp, so I'm not going to go over there. Isaac. This is crazy. I've been casting and casting for hours. Haven't even had a single hit. But I still post it because I want you guys to see the good days and the bad days so you guys know 
that the struggle is real. I don't actually always catch fish. And I don't always catch big fish either. Alrighty guys, I did not, unfortunately, uh, did not catch any fish today. Um, the conditions were, I think the water temperature was just a little bit too cold uh, for those fish to be biting. I think they were a little bit lethargic. Um, didn't even actually even get a tap, which is very, very surprising. Uh, usually this time of year I can get a few to bite, but uh, this time I did not have any luck. But uh, So my plan is now is to go home, edit this video, and uh, um, eat something and get some caffeine. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I... Uh, catch fish and go out to the golf course and fish whatever do not forget to subscribe i put out new videos every single uh three to four days uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh stay on the barbell catch you guys again on the next video thanks for watching